Hey, I'm back in my car again. Haven't done a video in my car in a while. It's going back to old school right here. Well, I'm doing it in my car for the same reason why I started doing these rants in my car because I fucking don't have time to uh, set up shit in my room. But uh, I'm trying to put out a video a week and this is the only time I got time to talk about anything. So I'm in this stupid car. So today we're going to talk about one of the dumbest things I've heard anyone say. One of the dumbest things that uh, Michelle Obama has ever said, you know, she hasn't said that many dumb things over the years. Kind of kept quiet. Like she had a little food nutrition school project thing that was kind of dumb. You know, which is not like Sarah Palin going around saying retarded ass shit every like two days or how often she did it whenever she was running for president back in 08. But this article is, I believe it was six days old. I saw it a week ago, you know, and I was like, well, I'll talk about it. I just now didn't have time to talk about it. Um, she said, she said the reason why people don't have trust in politics or politicians is because of the lack of diversity. And this, you think to myself, like, I have never heard anyone say that. I've never heard anyone say that's the reason why they don't trust politicians or politics is because it's not diverse. Like, why is she fucking smoking? I want whatever she's smoking. That is some fucking good shit, apparently. That's some good shit because that statement is so fucking retarded. And I just started laughing when I read it, and I'm like, she is legit fucking serious. Now, okay, so we're gonna unpack that. The whole article is basically that one tidbit she said um, from a speech or something. You know, so, but there's so much to unpack just in that one sentence. It's amazing that the political landscape is the way it is. You can say one fucking sentence, and you can have a whole discussion based on that one stupid fucking sentence. So, okay, so let's get started here. First of all, the reason why people don't trust politics and politicians is not because they like diversity, it's because I, either there are flat out fucking liars who lie, like, habitually, pathologically, every other thing they say is a fucking lie in order to promote their agenda or uh, to their own self-interest, or lots of politicians don't even lie nowadays. Like, Trump and uh, Hillary Clinton were totally clear on what they wanted their policies to be. They straight up fucking said, we are going to do these policies that are destroying this country, that are making it just a laughing stock of the world to continue the oppression of people overseas is going to not benefit the economy here, so people are going to remain, wages going to be stagnant, whatever. Like, they openly say they're going to do these policies. They don't have to lie. They're not hiding anything. They were completely open on everything they wanted to do. And almost all of their policies were completely fucking horrible. Trump openly says, I'm going to continue to raise national debt. I'm going to continue uh, to increase military spending by billions and billions. We're already spending a huge chunk of our national budget on military assets. We're going to continue all the wars. We're going to continue the occupation of all these countries we have troops in. We're going to continue the drug war. We're going to continue the surveillance. We're going to continue to break your amendment rights. And just, he doesn't lie about anything. He doesn't have to hide anything. And then people openly elect him and they wonder why this country is so fucked up. But we're going to have topic here. You know, so that is why I don't trust politicians in, in politics. Because they do not have my interests, the American people's interests, in mind. All they care about is power. All they care about is furthering their own interests and to screw everyone else they have to fuck over in order to get it. That's why we don't like politicians. Not because of lack of diversity. So let's go into the breakdown anyway. Um, I read most stats that I see say that whites are 70% of the U.S. This particular um, website said it's 60%. So it's around that area. Let's just say 65% just as a median in between the two. Okay, so 65% white and then 35% uh, everything else. All other minorities, so they're 35%. Blacks are like 13%, uh, Hispanics are like 7 or 8, Asians are like 5, whatever, whatever. You know, so it all adds up to uh, 35%. Okay. Congress, I'm trying to remember the stats from the, uh, the article. Congress is like 20 to 25% minority right now. And then the rest is white. So she complaining about lack of diversity, why? Because it isn't exactly a 100% same ratio of the population? Like, who said that is the rule? That is what you have to do. You, every demographic of every single uh, breakdown, you know, like top CEOs, business leaders, that's Fox ones, that's the Fox, CEOs, people in government, people in STEM, whatever, everything has to be completely proportional to the demographics of the country. You know, whites have to be 60%, 65% in this case, of everything. And if they're not, then that's racist. Who the fucking hell comes up with these like, these rules of society, these unwritten rules? 
is that it has to be that way. Why are radical liberals so obsessed with making every single thing down to the, the percentage? Like, if they're off by 1%, like, nope, that's still racist, there's still sexist, there's still something wrong, because it has to be exactly uh, in line with the U.S. demographic population, you know, of, of breakdown by race. And it's just, like, so stupid. If there are no barriers for minorities to become politicians, then you have done your job. You've created an equal playing field for anyone of any race who wants to enter politics. Now, that's beside the point that usually it's rich, older people who become politics and politicians anyway. That's beside the point. We can't just give people uh, experience and money to prompt them up so then the younger people can become politicians. It just doesn't work that way. They want equality of outcome. They want Congress to be by the percentage, to the one percent, of how the racial breakup is. So the fact that minorities are thirty-five percent of the population and only twenty percent of Congress, they think that's racist. Whites are 65% of the uh, of the population, and they are 80% of Congress. So that, oh, that's racist. It's just like you guys are so fucking dumb. This is not a problem. Th that is not a problem at all. You're making a problem out of nothing because you're obsessed with making the stats exactly the same. Now, when she says diversity in politics, she means by race and gender. What really needs in politics in America right now is diversity of thought. This comes back to the two-party system, which I railed for months against. The two-party system is controlling this country. There are no third-party people in Congress. There's not been a third-party president. The fact that the two main political parties agree on so many issues, like the debt, the war on terror, the war on drugs, the wars, you know, foreign relations, all these things that are just so fucked up, that are fucking up America and fucking up the world, they agree on it. There is no diversity of thought. Third party people try to come in and say, hey, these ideas are completely horrible for everyone except the 1%. That's why they're pushing it. We have got to stop this. But no one listens to them. A very small percent of the population listens to them. So yes, when Michelle thinks, says that the reason why people don't trust politicians' diversity She's actually correct, but if she meant diversity, is a diversity of thought, diversity of different opinions on issues, different ways of looking at things. That's what helped this country, and that's what would uh, make American people have more trust in government. If people, if politicians actually looked out for their own, in, for the American people's interests, actually pushed for policies that would improve this country instead of making it worse, that would go a long fucking way. But no, they're not going to do that. That's not what she was talking about. Anyway. Okay, that's all I have to say. Talked about know, eight minutes on one sentence. That's that's enough. I think you guys get the point. It's just what's the summary of this video? Oh, Michelle, you're so dumb. You, I don't know if she actually believes what she said. She may just be parroting that just because that's completely correct to say. Always pushing for diversity. Always pushing for minorities and women to be in everything. So she's just pandering to her base. Or if she honestly believes that, she honestly believes that that's the fucking problem with, with uh, politicians in this country. She just thinks, thinks it's diversity. No, it's a problem of, in a nutshell, the American people keep on voting for politicians that openly say we're going to do policies that harm you and they go ahead and vote for them anyway. It's so stupid. They're hurting themselves and they can't even see it. Then they always complain about this country so messed up, it's going downhill, the same time we're going whatever, it's just like, you are part of the problem that you are complaining about. And I try to sit down with you and talk to you guys about it, and you guys just la 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 put your uh, fingers in your ears, just don't listen. 